it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a products I've used up video which is basically just a what's in my trash video and yeah I don't have too many items to show you guys but I just wanted to do one and see if you guys like these type of videos so if you do please just give please give this video a big thumbs up and I will definitely do this again <laughs> so yeah first I'm gonna start off with mascara and I actually accidentally threw, threw my other mascaras away so I only have one to show you guys but this is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara and first off I love the packaging I love the color combination it's just really cute and I like the wand too it um, is really skinny on the end gets bigger in the middle and then gets skinny in the inner corner Again, I don't really know what I'm saying. And the wand is a pretty good size, you know. But, I don't know. I like this mascara, but then again, I don't think it's anything special like it was raved about. But one reason I, why I think I'm not, like, obsessed with this is because it's a gel mascara. And gel mascaras don't really do a lot for my eyelashes. And I found this to be very flaky. But, I might repurchase it in the future, but... I don't know. If I had to rate this from 1 to 5, it would be like a 3. I don't know. I just, I don't know. And then I have two concealers. And the first one is the Garnier Skin Renewal Anti-Dark Circle Roller Ball. And I absolutely love this product. And I'm really sad that I used it up. But this thing really does last forever. I don't know how, but I literally used this for... Uh, like a year and it lasted me but I really love this and I don't think it gives that much coverage under your eyes but as you can see it is a little metal ball and when you put this under your eyes it just it's really cold and it kind of just wakes you up and I definitely do notice that this depuffs my under eye circles and I will definitely be re repurchasing this when I get the chance. And I believe this was around $12, so it was definitely worth the money. And I just really love that concealer. And then I also used up the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. And it's all rubbed off, the name and stuff. But this is in the shade Buff. And I actually really like this concealer. It doesn't give a ton of coverage under your eyes, but it gives enough to cover like the veins and stuff and it really does brighten and I actually did repurchase this except I repurchased it in the shade radiant and I definitely do prefer the radiant over buff so yeah if you're in the mar market for a new cheap concealer I definitely suggest these and I used up one primer and this is the hard candy sheer envy primer and this is honestly one of the best primers that I've ever used. I prefer this over my Smashbox primer. It just feels really good on your skin and I feel like this does make your pores appear smaller even though it's not supposed to. I don't know. I definitely need to repurchase this. I just haven't had a chance to yet. But yeah, definitely give this a try. And I think it was only six dollars so I mean, yeah. <laughs> And then I have two hair products, and the first one is the Aussie Moist 3-Minute Miracle Deep Conditioning Treatment. And if I'm 100% honest, I don't see what the hype is about, but this is probably just because of my hair type. I have very fine hair, and I found that this, is, this didn't really do anything to my hair. It didn't make it softer. It didn't... I don't know. I don't see what the hype is about but this might just be you know my hair type so yeah this product didn't work for me but I may give it another chance in the future I do know and then the other hair product that I used up I'm not sure how you say this so I'm just gonna say VO5 hot oil therapy and this is just a hot oil treatment and it's supposed to help repair your dry and overprocessed hair and I have to say that I absolutely love this. It came with two tubes. And I believe this was pretty cheap. I think it was only $5. But what you do is you put the little tube in a cup of hot water for a minute. And then you just put it on your hair 
you know, before you shampoo and condition. And I definitely noticed a difference in my hair. It was softer, silkier, and less frizzy. And I actually did repurchase another box. And then I used up a body wash. And this is the Caress Velvet Bliss Blackberry and Vanilla Essence Silkening Body Wash. Whew, that was a mouthful. But first off, do you see how big this thing is? It's like bigger than my head. And I absolutely love the smell of this. It's, it smells just like it's described and this left my skin feeling really silky and smooth and I definitely would re repurchase this but I have like three other body washes that I need to try out so yeah and I believe this was only like three dollars for this huge tube this is 18 fluid ounces and then I also used up this magic sea salt spray for body and oral piercings. This is just from Walmart. It's a piercing spray, but I can honestly, I don't know. This is really weird. You guys are going to think I'm weird. These are the same ingredients, but I feel like the H2O Ocean works better than this one that I just threw. I don't know. I just, I don't know. And then I used up the Crest 3D White Luxe glamorous white toothpaste and this claims that it removes up to 90% of surface stains in five days. I call BS. Um, I don't hate this toothpaste or anything I just I didn't notice a difference and it kind of made my teeth hurt sometimes which is weird because I don't have sensitive teeth so yeah I didn't repurchase this and I don't I don't really know if I will or not I think I'm just gonna stick to regular toothpaste. But yeah, those are all of the products that I've used up. Like I said in the beginning, if you want more of these videos, just give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow my social websites. All the links will be down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Okay, bye!